Praise the Lord, friend. God's prophet here, Thomas Manton IV. Blessings to you. I've been speaking about something really uh, quite amazing that God spoke to me about yesterday. And it's called The Blessing of the Father. And I'm going to continue in this. Today will be volume two. And we'll go as far as we need to go. By the Spirit of the Lord on this topic. In this time, I want to tell you prophetically that it's a time to have a father and fathers in your life. One for instruction, one for brilliance, one for counsel. Welcome everyone that's coming on. I'll talk to you after the broadcast. Let me deliver this word. Glad you're here. Please hit the share button and share this with people. It's a very meaningful and pro profound prophetic message to the body of Christ worldwide. The Blessing of, a fa the, blessing of the Father, Volume 2. Now... Um, instruction, wisdom, counsel, protection, you know, help, covering, wisdom. Think about it. All of those things come from a father. So it's not just like a, a, a structure. Well, this is the father of the church and this is the father of the family and this is the father of our bloodline, and that's all just superficial titles, you know, of, of maybe functionality or designation of who they are, but that does not uh, denote what they do. Who they are is not as important as what they do. They have to be who they are first, <laughs> but if you never get any benefit from it, you know, it's just there. What's the point? Some Somebody's really nodding their head going, I know. You don't need to have a, a father that's there, but he's really like an absentee father. You don't need to have a someone you call a spiritual father, but they don't give any input into your life. Come on. What's the benefit of it? What's the purpose of it then? So the Lord spoke to me about this. Now, think about it. When a child is a, a young and he's in the house of uh, his family, the father is the protector of the home. He's the provider of the home. The child is no good by themselves. They can't drive a car. They can't work. They can't earn money. They can't cook. They can't do hardly anything, a young child. So they need the father. So just like a child needed a father then, don't you think we even as adults now need a father to be in our life? It's too rare. It's too lacking. Someone said, well, everybody's writing me back since yesterday. Many people saying there's very few fathers. Thank you for being a father, Dr. Thomas. Thank you for being a father, prophet of God, Thomas Manton IV. Thank you. Because there's very few fathers. I know because many are spiritually devoid of understanding. They're very devoid of the anointing maybe. And they don't have any care to be anything but something for themselves. Which is really sad. That's why Paul even said you have, you know, many teachers but few fathers. So even if you have 10,000 instructors... But to find me as a father, you found something brilliant. I was speaking about Elijah and Elisha. Eli Elisha had a father, Elijah. He called him his father in 2 Kings 2. Called him his father. Picked up that mantle. Did major miracles with it. The blessing of a father is powerful. Today I want to look at... Yesterday I was in 2 Kings... Uh, early part of the second book of Second Kings. Today I want to look at Exodus 33. Exodus 33, it says, Moses' final blessing to the people of Israel. Now, 
This blessing that's written about here is also for you and for me. For you and for me. Because we're in the heritage of all this because of Jesus. He said, you're receiving my words, you know. A little bit hard to read this here. The lighting. Oh, yeah, verse uh, 3. Read the whole Exodus 33. I'm not going to take time to go through it point by point. I don't have that kind of time here in this broadcast right now. Future days, I'll read a whole chapter to you. Don't worry. When I'm in the studio, but right now where I am, it's a little bit... I just have a few moments, and I like making very short, quick, to the point. I'm loving that. You don't have to be on all day to get the message here. Just a few minutes. So work with me. Every day I'm doing one. Every day. A few minutes, not long. By design. By divine design. He loves the people. And he talked about putting his right hand upon them to bless them. And the benefits that came from that are so many you can read them. Moses was a spiritual father. Elijah the prophet was a spiritual father. Paul the apostle was a spiritual father. One of his main sons was Timothy, but he had many others that he influenced in the church. He was a real father. So I... I read also in Malachi 4 that the hearts of the children should return to the father and the hearts of the father should return to the children lest there be a curse the Lord said lest I smite the earth with a curse well there's a curse coming out of certain communities all kinds of hell raging because of no fatherhood you know some preachers people just mock them because they have the church but those guys maybe are not operating as fathers to the community maybe not totally their fault because you have wayward rebellious people that don't want to listen. So you don't blame a man that's trying to do something to the best he can. You know, be a little bit nice, live and let live. Cut him a little slack, you know, live, be a little bit. But some people don't have enough power from heaven to rule and reign as a spiritual authority and as a spiritual father. But to the one that does, there's a great responsibility, but also great benefits for kingdom advancement for people to have a father. We need protection because out here, in this world, especially these days, it's been like that all the time, but right now, with all the chaos going on, ravenous wolves, possessed people, crazy situations, crazy people, demonic evil. I could just cry thinking about it. You, you know, with the passion of the cry of the prophet, not about the situation that's going on. That's bad. That'll make you cry too. But I mean... Uh, 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 the cry of the spirit like a trumpet blowing in the earth sound the alarm in Zion blow the trumpet in Zion sound an alarm in my holy mountain oh I feel this for people that need Jesus that need a father they need love they need protection, they need help, they need wisdom, they need advice, they need counsel. They need understanding, they need wisdom, they need, we all need it. And protection from ravenous wolves, protection from demons, protection from devils, hello. Protection from all of this evil going on. If you're by yourself, you're in a hard place in these days. We need to be rightly joined together with fathers, with a father. Maybe you have one or two. Maybe you have none. I mean, maybe you'll have one or two. Maybe you have none right now. Maybe you have one. You need another. I'm not offering to be everybody's father, but I know that some people that God is assigning to connect with this grace by the Spirit of the Lord I'm willing to obey God in that and to just let God flow. And we have our tribe, we have our dominion tribe, our people all around the world. Many people consider me a spiritual father to them. Many people. Some that I don't know. They say, they come on, they say, I've been following you for years, man of God. You are awesome. You 
have helped my life, blessed my life. So many miracles have happened. Some have told me, some haven't told me the testimony. So there's a need for this. And I want to see you protected and blessed. I want to see you have a good life. In, in coming days, I want to share some real intricate, practical wisdom keys and principles on um, methodologies of, of, of having a great and successful life. I'm going to talk about that. Because almost nobody does. You know, some churches, uh, even anointed ones, they'll just talk about the move of the spirit and revival and winning souls and what's going on in the world and and that's powerful. You can receive from that. I do also listen to some of that. And I preach some of that too. But uh, you need some practical steps on things to do. And it's almost... Uh, I, know, I know one particular vessel that's really anointed that speaks on these things. But I, I haven't heard anywhere else, you know. The blessings of life, of having a good life. Man, think about it. Think about it. God is... Uh, let's give it some light in. God is so ready to do so much. But I'll be ready to receive. You need a father. You need protection. You need covering. And I want to extend that grace to you right now. By the Holy Ghost. Father, let your presence and your tangible touch break all fear, all sickness, all lack, all unsurety, all lack of direction, all lack of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And Lord, begin to give my precious friend and partner and listener the viewer from wherever you are let the power of heaven begin to come down upon your life and cover you and give you covering grace and give you security and assurity and new wisdom and insight and knowledge and understanding for the things you need to know and do for, for the things you need to know so you can do the things you need to do in Jesus' name, the blessing of the Father, the right hand, as he said in Exodus 33, Moses stretched, stretched out his right hand with love for the people and released a blessing, and that blessing became a tangible reality. I release the blessing of the Lord upon you. You know, he said, I'll, I'll cause my face to shine upon you and bless you and give you peace. You know that one from Numbers 24, I think it is somewhere in there. The Lord is releasing that over you. And you need that in this day. And I'm reminding you of that today. Father, thank you for this blessing. The blessing of the Father. In Jesus' name. Love you much. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you for being my partner. And sow and connect and release a good Father's Day gift to the Papa here. Um, as you feel led of the Lord. And the Lord will bless you for that. There'll be a harvest in that. I'm going to be praying for you as I see that in Jesus' name. All the information will be on the heading and in the comments of how you can connect with us in that way. And obey the Holy Ghost. And I love you much and I'm praying for you. In Jesus' name. Love you. Love you, love you, love you, love you. In Jesus' name. Talk to you again tomorrow.